Hello everyone, we're Beats by UTD and we're designing a personal audio tester for liquidity services. Um, I'm Calvin Nance, I was working on the Bluetooth microprocessor programming. This is Michael Simpson, he was working on the database connections and the apparatus design. Josh Matthew worked on the Windows application and Anquan worked on the documentation and the testing workflow. And um, currently at liquidity services, people send in headphones to be tested and sold for refurbishment. It's currently tested by a minimum wage worker by ear, and we are trying to eliminate the human error in that testing and reduce this time per unit. And now we'll go to the Windows application. The Universal Windows platform application will create a GUI interface for the operator to scan, a, scan the barcode of the headset, to see the list of headphones that are connected, to see which test passed or failed, and to see if there are any errors that occurred. The UWP will be connected to our microcontrollers, which will transfer data, audio files, as well as commands to the uh, unit test. The unit tests are shown on the right-hand side of our slide. Uh, once these unit tests have been completed, the uh, data will be stored in Liquidity Services MySQL database. And Mike will talk about our apparatus. Uh, the apparatus that we're going to be building is going to be a, a modular design, uh, so that it's going to be easily replaceable and easy to fix. Um, also, we're trying to keep the cost low so that there's a very easy way to, for liquidity to be able to refurbish and <coughs> continue to use uh, these systems. Um, also, we're going to be, with that modular design, uh, making it so that they can uh, connect um, n number of machines to a single testing machine so that they're able to um, speed up their testing. Um, this unit is going to be uh, featuring two different headphone stands. Uh, the headphone stand is featured on the slides on the right side on the center. Um, in between those is going to be where we're keeping our uh, Bluetooth controller and, and microcontrollers for uh, that particular unit. Um, the units are going to be 3D printed, um, again, so that this is going to be an ease of use and ease of uh, production um, for liquidity. And um, from there, uh, we're going to talk about the Bluetooth controller uh, with the ink one. Uh, so we'll be using the MSP432 as our microcontroller with a NFC RFID and a Bluetooth module kit as a booster pack to attach with these uh, microcontrollers to help with the Bluetooth connections. Uh, these components will interact with our GUI and our uh, automated testing process through a serial connection over a USB port. And uh, to start off our test, we will start off with a NFC pairing to help with Bluetooth connections. And from there, if the device passes to connect, then we will send uh, Bluetooth SDKs to help with the Bluetooth messaging through the devices. And also, our Bluetooth module will... will um, uh, we'll uh, communicate with our Windows PC to uh, help send testing data and also control our microphone data, depending on if we need to or not. And we'll also follow some standard Bluetooth protocols for communicating with our devices and sending our Bluetooth commands. And that concludes our presentation. Are there any questions? Uh, are you doing anything to uh, standardize your microphones? Um, so with the microphones, we are <laughs> going to be uh, basically running the tests from the input that they come from that. Um, we don't have a, well, we, for our process, we're going to be able to standardize their quality in regards to when we're actually building the units and just ensuring that the microphones that we're putting in there are going to be giving us the, the same feedbacks um, that we're going along. Um, so uh, we'll be taking care of, for, for our part of our project that we're creating, we're going to be doing the quality assurance work on that. Um, we don't have anything necessarily built into the uh, system itself that would monitor or double check the uh, microphones themselves um, through, through that process or through the longevity of time. Um, you might consider some kind of standard tone generator or something. Mm -hmm. maybe yeah. This, maybe that your speaker could deliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's that what micro the microphones would then have yeah. a standard that they're... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and, and so uh, part of the test is that we're going to be producing a number of uh, general frequencies across uh, the headsets that are going to be placed on the headphone stands. Um, and then the microphones are going to be reading that and analyzing the frequencies, uh, the dilation, and a number of other uh, audio uh, cues, and then analyzing that data to uh, get the performance of that headset and make sure that it reaches a, a standard... Um, a standard 
Oh, well, standard. Um, and there can definitely be a um, process in that where we can have a, a standardization of the microphones and just to double check that they're getting what they should be. Um, How are you planning on automating the well, the physical buttons, cosmetic damage, charging, and all those things. So um, all of the physical properties of the headphones are going to be still tested by an individual. Um, our tests are going to be specifically oriented for the um, mechanical and, and audio properties of the headset. So the Bluetooth functionality, charging, um, sound quality, um, and then different audio features such as the noise canceling and, and those kind of things. All right. Let's thank the team.